Alright, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the space look in Cinema 4D. This is my very first tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a new file. I just named mine space look. What you're going to do is you're going to create a sphere. You're going to go on the object panel and you're going to change the segment to 600. And you're going to make the size of it to around 300. Let's see. So now you've got all these little segments here. And what you want to do with this is you're going to go into this deformer tab with this purple bend here. And you're going to go to the explosion. And you're going to drag the explosion onto the sphere. You're going to go, you're going to click on the explosion. Okay, there's, there's this arrow here. And you want to make sure the arrow is pointing down. Because if you have it pointing to the side, it's not going to go as the child. It's just going to go above or under. So you want to make sure it's pointing down. Now you're going to click on the explosion. And as you turn it up, the ball kind of explodes, as you can see. And what you want to do is I use, I'm going to set mine to around, around 81. So now we got all these little... Let's do a quick render here. Click this little thing right there. And it kind of makes it look like there's a whole lot of stars everywhere. So it's, it's looking more like space now. And if you want to add some extra effects, what I do is I go and add a light under this light tab here. Just click and hold. And then you click on the light here. And you go into the color here, color picker. And you pick your color. I'm going to make mine a bluish color, a light blue. And then we're going to go down into visible light and we're going to turn it volumic. So now we're going to get this thing right here. And that's going to, it's just showing us the radius of our light. So now we go into the noise tab under the light object and I'm going to turn mine onto visible. You can change it to wavy turbulence or soft turbulence, but I'm going to change mine to so I'm going to keep mine on soft turbulence. And then I'm going to click this little box right here. And it's going to bring up all of the sides. I'm going to go to the top. And I'm just going to make it bigger by clicking on this little orange handle and dragging. It gets bigger and smaller. So I'm just going to make mine bigger like that. And then if we do a quick render, All right, now that our render is done, we can see now I got this like gassy look ish. And also, what um, happened when we put the light is um, all of our little like stars, they're you can't really see them anymore. So, a way to fix this is go back and add another light. And what this will do is if you go under the scene tab on your light one. There's, it says mode, and you want to change the mode to include. And now, if you go and you click and hold your sphere and drag it into the objects box of your light, it's going to, now this light is only going to light up your exploded sphere. So now if we do another render, We'll have to drag our light forward. And that should do the trick. I think we gotta do is maybe just lower this a bit. And then we'll go. Yeah, that should be good. See now our little particles here. Are they're getting more light to them. And for me, that's too many little particles. So I'm just going to increase the explosion strength. 
and I'm, I'm gonna come into my first light I'm just gonna make it a bit lighter oops no that's not what I wanted to click all right we're gonna do another quick little render and yeah it kind of gives it a space look you can add planets or whatever you want um, you can mess around with all these details get it to your liking and yeah that is basically my first tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned a bunch of things um, I guess I'll see you guys next time okay peace